This morning we're looking at perennial strawberries. In this particular plot, uh, perennial strawberries are grown in a plastic culture system. So generally we see annual strawberries in plastic culture systems and perennial strawberries in matted row. In this case, there's a bit of a hybrid uh, system. And in perennial strawberries, we see a lot of leaf diseases, especially if uh, debris is left in the field year after year, then inoculum load builds up. The three most common strawberry leaf diseases are leaf spot, leaf scorch, and leaf blight. And most of the time in Kentucky, we see all three simultaneously. The three leaf diseases can look similar, especially early in the disease stages. So let's look at each of them separately. Leaf spot, also called strawberry leaf spot or common leaf spot, can infect leaves, petioles, and stems. The spots are small with a purple border, and as the spots get older, the centers turn white or gray. However, the spots never get larger than a quarter of an inch in diameter. Common leaf spot or leaf spot infections uh, occur under wet conditions and moderate temperatures, which is the case with most fungal infections. The pathogen overwinters in leaf debris or on infected plants, so it's primarily a problem in perennial systems or if plants are not removed from beds uh, in an annual system. Leaf scorch uh, symptoms resemble leaf spot early in the season. Spots eventually though become irregular and coalesce. The spots remain purple and you don't get that white or gray center. The margins of those spots are undefined or again irregular. Petiole lesions are common and can girdle petioles and kill entire leaves. Leaf scorch is primarily a disease of perennial strawberries or matted row systems. Infection can occur under wet conditions and moderate conditions like other fungal pathogens. This pathogen, like leaf spot and other fungal leaf spot leaf diseases, overwinters um, in leaf debris and infected plants. And leaf blight, the third of the leaf diseases, uh, begins as a small leaf spot on the margins of the leaves, so on the tips of the leaves, usually on the end, um, and then it expands into a V-shaped blighted lesion with yellow margins. And by blight, we usually mean quick death. So this leaf disease causes rapid death of strawberry leaves. This disease is most common after harvest, so in summer and fall, again, more common in a perennial system. The fruiting structures are very obvious in the centers of these, uh, these leaf blighted or these leaf lesions. Infection, again, occurs under wet conditions and moderate temperatures, and the fungus overwinters in debris and in infected plants. Management of all three leaf diseases is similar. Sanitation is critical clean up at the end of the season and during the season if disease becomes severe. Use resistant cultivars when possible. Assure good drainage and good air circulation to help dry leaves as soon as possible. Maintain mulch in matted row systems to prevent splash and to keep stems and leaves from touching the soil. These cultural practices are usually sufficient to keep diseases at low levels. In fields with a history of disease, or if disease becomes severe, use fungicides as recommended in our spray guides. With annual strawberries, the strawberry plants usually come out after harvest in late spring or early summer. But with perennial strawberries, they remain in the ground from year to year. And again, that inoculum builds up, particularly as debris is left in the field. So the number one management solution for leaf diseases in perennial strawberries is sanitation and a good cleanup after harvest and again before growth starts in the spring.